Vendors in Harare say they're being harassed. Police have been clamping down on street traders ahead of August's SADC summit. But the city says there is nothing untoward about what's being done. ENCA correspondent Pindai Dube reports. Street vendors are part of daily life in Harare. Most of them, women, they provide everything from food to vegetables to clothes and electronics. But now, their leaders said an attack against them has increased. The Vendors Initiative for Social Economic Transformation, VSET, says there are daily battles with municipal police. We are getting our members being arrested on a daily basis, running battles on a daily basis. And I don't think this is helpful to our economy. I don't think this is helpful, you know, for all the police pronouncements that uh, the government is pushing. The spokesperson of our city council made that uh, pronouncement on, on, on national television, that they are doing this as part and parcel of their process to, have, to ensure that the streets are clean okay. ahead of the summit, yes. The Harare City Council admits it's cleaning up the streets ahead of the summit. But it says they are operating within the law. It says illegal vendors will not be tolerated and they should register and pay fees. Yes, there is a certain summit in a few weeks' time and we also we have to clean our city. But we've always been uh, doing that. We've always been clearing our city of uh, illegal vendors. The vendors must uh, come to the city council, must uh, pay their fees, and then they operate from designated areas. The 44th Sadat Summit will be held in Harare on the 17th and 18th of August. Heads of state and government are expected to descend on Harare. Pindai Dobe, Harare, Zimbabwe.